everyone thank you for checking out my channel and for clicking on this video if this is your first time watching on my channel my name is Nanette I am the creator of do what you love by Nanette other than making succulent creations in beautiful pots I love making videos about succulents with a big focus on care guides and my favorite topic propagation in today's video I think I will take you to our front yard and show you this section that I have been working on. I was actually debating whether I want to show it to you now or when I'm done and it's all dolled up. I was like asking myself, are you really that excited to show it? You're not even done yet? I thought it will be fun to take you with me as I go through this journey. I think that will be exciting. Let me tell you, or I think a better word for this now is let me surprise you. I don't have a clear vision yet on how I want this front yard to look like. All I know is I want to do something about it. I want to beautify it. I have ideas. So maybe my approach is taking things one day at a time. And it is at this moment that that phrase applies so much. I have just been throwing different kinds of succulents there. Thankfully, I went to a nursery three weeks ago and I purchased some rare succulents that I planted there. I don't even know if they will survive there um, or they should just be in a pot. Sometimes there are succulents that don't thrive in the ground. They have to be planted in a pot. I am truly not stressing myself on this project because another thing that I don't have a clear vision yet is the kind of top dressing I want to put there. So when you say top dressing, obviously I mean the rocks that I want to put there for the final touch. And I think I know what I want. I definitely want to do a combination of brown rocks in the inside, dark rocks or white rocks on the outside before we go i want to show you something really quick so i live in california and we've been having wildfires for the past weeks which is truly unfortunate the temperature has been in the 90s and hundreds so some of my succulents are not loving it and i'm already great in using umbrellas for my succulents to give them shade this one's here still got burned. I think it's important to show you what they look like. It is a common knowledge that succulents are drought-loving plants that generally don't do well in cold, rainy climate. Most people think that all succulents are desert plants and should thrive in sun without any cover. Therefore, you think it makes sense that they thrive in full sun on a hot summer day, right? Well, unfortunately, that isn't true. While succulents do enjoy plenty of sunlight, but too much of a good thing can be harmful for them. Let's not forget that many succulents are tropical zones and need indirect sunlight. In fact, if you've ever set your succulent collection outside to get a little sunshine and either left them out for too long or placed them in an area that gets full sun all day, this is what you will run into, a sunburned succulent. Just so you can picture better, our backyard is sitting on the east side of our house. So here's our pot along with the other succulents that I have. Here's another sunburned succulent. This is Crosula ovara or simply known as jade plant. See those damaged leaves? If the leaves are still quite green, then I can leave them as they can still make food for the plant in the daytime. But the damaged ones, like this big one here, I may be better off cutting them with sterilized knife or a pair of scissors. Oh well, enough for this. Let's go outside so I can show you my front yard project. Thank you. 
let's have a quick stop here this was my first mini project and even made a video about it i am so thrilled that these succulents are thriving and loving the west side of our house which is where our front yard is sitting look at these aeoniums see how many babies they're getting out of control and these ones here aeonium sunburst echeveria setosa Sinesha Serpent. Oh wait, I remember, I have a burr's tail here that needs to be transferred to a hanging planter if it continues to thrive. Imagine this with long, luxurious stems draping over the side of that hanging planter. This beauty right here is Common House Leek. You might want to check out this video that I made two months ago. This way you can see what the changes are between then and now. Let's go check out our project.
that's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something. I hope you're excited about what's going to happen here. I promise to keep you posted. Keep watching my videos. And if you truly like what you saw, you can give this video a thumbs up and maybe hit that subscribe button. I definitely want to see you in my next video. Until next time.